just saw a YouTube video about SolidWorks and how to make a ball spring. And I thought, well, how would I do that in Shaper? Um, you may need a spring shape, like if you're making an egg beater that looks sort of like a ball. Or you might, since it's a spring, you may want to make a spring that looks like an egg. So here we're going to show you how to make a spring that looks like an egg. Um, we're going to basically revolve an ellipse, um, a hollow ellipse. So it would be a hollow egg. So there's two sides of it. Here's a cross-sectional view. And then we will revolve a rectangle. Then we will do the intersection of those two shapes. So when we click done, you'll see we have a spring-shaped egg, or an egg-shaped spring. Uh, the color's a little off here, so we'll go in and fix that. There we go, there's our egg-shaped spring. Let's round the edges of the spring a little bit. And we can do the inside also. So we can make ball shaped springs, or we can make elliptical shaped springs. Or here in my house, we have these doorstops that are springs uh, that look like this. So we can make a spring that looks like this in Shaper 3D. I like to have these two lines perpendicular. We're going to draw the outline of the doorstop. Then we set some constraints just to make sure the horizontal is horizontal and the vertical lines are vertical. Now, just like we did with the ellipse, uh, we will revolve this to make it the, the round shape that we want. And the transition between the thinner part and the outer part is smooth than the, than the one that I have here. So we'll smooth that out by adding a fillet. Now shell it, and we're gonna shell this at two millimeters. This is important, this part right here. So, and then let's open up the top. There we go, so we have a shell that's two millimeters thick. So now we're revolved as a, a rectangular spring uh, that's also two millimeters thick. So basically we want to square two millimeter by two millimeter square when this is done. So we'll set this to two millimeters. Move this just roughly here. And there we go, we just set it inside that rectangle. And then let's try 4,000, we'll just go by eye here. Uh, I think a little denser, so let's try 6,000. Maybe twice as many wraps there, let's try 12,000. Uh, 
Uh, this is fine for the demo. So now we're going to intersect those two shapes. And click done. And there we go. There's our spring doorstop. But the real one is, has, is made out of wire. So let's make this uh, look more like it's made out of wire instead of a square. And there we go. So now we have round looking wire shaped doorstop. Uh, maybe we'll play with the color a little bit. See, see what we like here. Maybe that, maybe look nicer, a little darker. But let's go ahead and put the uh, the uh, rubber stop on the top of the door stop first before we go through and we uh, tweak the final color. So this is our original sketch. We'll just make the top uh, go around it, around that, and we'll make that white. And there we go. And we can fix the color of the doorstop now. Let's make it more gray so it looks a little more like wire. And my top cap is a little short, so let's make it longer. So there we go. There we go. We are uh, making springs pretty much any shape that we want to make a spring right now. Here's our egg shaped spring. Here's our doorstop. And have a nice spring. <laughs>